today we are off to Sweden to rank some Swedish metal bands. I've got a tier list here, another one, fun one for you guys. I swear I'll do some normal content soon, but today, more tier lists for your butthole. And today, yeah, we got a bunch of fucking Swedish bands, some I know, some I don't know. We're going to rank them in this here little tier list. So, play along at home. And I'll put the description, <laughs> no I won't, I'll put the link in the description down below so you guys can check it out and play along with me. Scream at me in the comments, call me a fucking goober asshole, whatever, it's all fun. And let's attack each other's <laughs> placings of bands. And let's go. So first up, Canaris Quintet, I've, no, I've never heard of them. Straight away, showing off. I know nothing. My name is basically Jon Snow. Never heard of them. Don't know enough about them. Amaranth. Amaranth. Okie dokie. Um, for the sake of this video, I'll put, them, I'll put them in C for now. They might move down. They might move up. Who knows? I've seen them live. Um, they're fun. She's a great singer. It's like pop meets... Metal, not for everyone, not for fans of like fucking Dawn and Diabolical Masquerade and shit, obviously, but it has a place, time and place, you know, a couple of Proseccos in you, you get a little boogie woogie on the dance floor, and uh, <laughs> I can see hardcore metalheads just rolling in their fucking shit stained undies right now. Um, I'm on a moth. Viking metal guys, you know, ah, oh, beards and mead, and I've only got beer. It's not quite mead, but it's very tasty. God bless you, Italian cunts. Monomath, great stuff. Twilight the Thunder God, one of the best songs ever. Guidance of Asgard, Cry the Blackbirds, so many good songs, and the early stuff's even better. Death and Fire. Across the Rainbow Bridge, yeah, B tier. The later stuff, eh, but most of it pretty good. Arch Enemy. Arch Enemy. Not been a big fan of Arch Enemy, to be honest. I liked it with Angela. Kind of, but even then, not really. And Alyssa's just, I just, I don't know, I just don't like them. Don't like them. This is a popular band as well, so this is going to get some people fucking triggered. But, you know, I'd rather jam Amaranth. To some pop fun tunes than some moody fucking arch enemy. I just would. It's more fun. Sue me. Next up is At the Gates, which I'll probably put in C as. Oh, am I gonna be controversial and put it in C? Or should I put it in B? I'll put it in B for now, alongside At the Monomath. There's albums I like, there's albums I don't like, same as most bands. Um, I like the moodier stuff. Which is rare. I like the, uh, you know, I like my Doom and stuff. I like that. To Drink From The Night Itself. Got the shirt. Love that album. Some people say it's the worst. They can suck a dick. I love it. Um, the latest album. Great. Uh, a War With Reality is my favourite. So I like the newer stuff. The older stuff doesn't do much for me. That kind of early mellow death. Just the sound just isn't there. I prefer In Flame. <laughs> Sorry. But yeah, it's uh, it's, it's alright. B, B, B tier. Beat it. Avatar. Avatar will probably go and see as well. They're fun. I saw them this year actually live. Cool aesthetic, kind of ghost like. Um, funky songs. Don't like them as much, but, you know, I don't hate them. They're fun. They're fine. They're great. But compared to Baffery, if Baffery's S tier, is, is it even any question that Baffery is not S tier? Come on. Blood Fight Death, one of the best albums of all time. Under the Sun of the Black Mark, The Return, The Debut, Hammerheart. Even, like, Nordland, I like. I like most of their albums. Octagon can fucking die, but everything else, pretty good. Bloodbath. Bloodbath, you're going A. Different singers, all pretty damn good. I mean, come on, you have Mikkel. And you know I'm a simp for Mikkel. So... Yeah, but um, the best ones are the one with actually the Paradise Lost singer. I saw them with him. Um, yeah, no, I like it. Eaton! How good is that song? Holy shit. Anyway, Candlemass is going to S. I love Candlemass. What a beautiful doom metal band. Probably the best doom metal band. I prefer them to Black Sabbath. Sorry. I love Black Sabbath. That's an S-tier band as well, but Candlemass? Mm-hmm. 
even better. Messiah, Johan, is that his name? The first singer who's back. So good. Carnage. I don't know enough about. I know Poser Alert. I know people like Justin will be like, ah, Pink Panty Poser, digging him out. But, yeah. Um, yes, I, I am. I fucking am. Next up, Dark Funeral. I like Dark Funeral. I like a on Blood Bath. Wouldn't say they're as good as Bath for a Candlemas, but I like them a lot. Some people say they're monotonous, boring. They can suck a big fat elephant cock. I think it's great. Uh, I saw them a couple of times live. Fucking kills it. Nail them to the cross! That song, badass. I love all their albums. All their albums are fantastic. The catchy, the red albums, the blue albums, they're all good. Dark Tranquility. You're going to go into A, my friend. I like Dark Tranquility top of A quite a lot, more than At The Gates. You know, it has more of a moodier sound than At The Gates, more prolonged albums like Fiction. Um, Atoma is a bloody... M- I think Atoma is better than the whole At The Gates discography. Sue me. Atoma is just a fucking masterpiece. And then the gallery, I think, is better than Slaughter of the Soul. Um, which influenced loads of metalcore, but... A fucking seizure over here. Dark Tranquility is better. Fuck you. Dawn. Oh, Dawn is so goddamn good. I love Dawn. Not a lot of albums, but they're very good. Slaughter Sun's so good, but the f- my favourite is the one before that, Naya. I don't know how to pronounce it. Come on, I'm not Swedish, but the Naya album. Oh my god, it's so good. Love them. The fact that they only have a couple of albums makes me want to put it to A, but realistically. I I listen to Dawn more than most of these bands, so yeah. Same goes for Diabolical Masquerade. Love Diabolical Masquerade. I have Nightwork, not Nightwing. That's uh, Marduk, which is also on here. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I I like them a lot. I like them a lot. Symphonic, um, bombastic, symphonic, creepy has a cool horror aesthetic. Yeah, I think they're a. Uh, Pretty damn good. There's gonna be loads. There's gonna be an S actually. I'm I'm tempted to make another tier. You know, I am. And we're we're gonna do it. We're gonna do A plus, just for the ones like these, which I love. But are they as classic as Canamass or Baffery? Probably not. Dismember is next. Dismember is gonna go here. Uh, probably the I like Dark Chocolate a little bit more, but Dismember's one of the best death metal bands. Come on. Um, Massive Killing Capacity is such a powerhouse. I know some people don't like that, but I love that album. It's one of my favourites. And also, like, an ever-flowing stream is a goddamn masterpiece. A. Dissection. You're going to go straight to the top of A+. Ooh, do I put you in S? Do I? I'm tempted to. I am tempted to, but I'm not going to just yet. Dissection. Three amazing albums. Yeah, even Rykonos, if that's how you say it. I don't know. Um, but yeah, Storm of Light Spain and the Sombolane masterpieces. Edge of Sanity is next, which is probably going to go in A. Dan Swano's band. Um, Purgatory Afterglow is my personal favourite. Love the album. I love Crimson 1 and 2. Some people don't like 2. I think 2 is just as good as 1. Sue me. Again, Mikel showing up in it. I wonder where they're going to be. Uh, Entombed is next, and I'm not big into Entombed. I'll probably put them there. No, actually, fuck it, I'll put them there. Classic first couple of albums, Clandestine being my favourite. Wolverine Blues is pretty interesting, but after that, they just kind of fucking shit the bed, so fuck them, B. Fuck them, B. Next up, I can't read that. (laughs) I cannot read that. Let's find out what it is. Google Images has this cool thing where you can do that and find out what it is. You Christ. Never heard of them. Sounds fun. Gates of Ishtar. Um, I uh, no, I don't know enough. <laughs> I've heard the name, I've heard song here and there, but I don't know enough of them. So tell me what to listen to from them, and if I'll like it. You know, if it's like melodic death like these, I'll probably like it. If it's black, I'll definitely like it. And if it's doom, I'll definitely like it. Ghost. <laughs> 
I'm a Ghost fan. I liked them from the debut. I've seen them live about ten times. Every song is better than every single band. Sorry, I like Ghost. There's something about them. I don't know. I just love them. Grave is a classic. I like them quite a lot. Um, not not as much as oh, not as much as Dismember, but it's in that same kind of category. Um, classic doesn't get enough recognition, but I feel like they should do. But they're sitting around the same kind of level as Dismember. But I feel like Dismember has a bit more albums I enjoy. Hammerfall, fun power metal. I'll put them to the top of B. Kind of. I don't want to say cheesy because I love like Rhapsody of Fire and shit like that and Ghost, but just not not as good as like Blind Guardian, Halloween and stuff. Just it's still good, but not as good. And I always thought they were German. I I just because like all those bands are German. I just assumed Hypocrisy probably B as well. I'm not big into it. I know it's. Peter Tactrican's band, there's a lot of albums that are fun, but the style of it is just not, doesn't grab me as much as Grave, Dismember, and Edge of Sanity. You know what I mean? It just doesn't grab me as much. More mechanical, eh. In Flames. Hmm. Oh, this is gonna piss people off. This is just my taste. This isn't like objective list. Remember, this is a subjective list. If you don't like my list, make your own. Um, I like In Flames. I like older albums. Even Siren Charms. I think it's not the best, but I enjoy it. But the newest one, Forgone, may be my album of the year. I fucking love it. Um, yeah, Jester Race is one of my favourite albums of all time. Colony. Just the first five albums. Ten out of tens. Then even A Sense of Purpose is like one of my favourites. Guilty Pleasure. I'm not really guilty because I still like it. So fuck you. Yeah, A plus. Istap. No idea. Catatonia. Ooh, you're going straight to S, my boy. I love Catatonia. The early stuff, the more Def Doom stuff. Goddamn great. And Mikhail makes an appearance. Um, but I like the later stuff. I like the more singy stuff with Jonas. Um, his voice. His he's my favorite singer in all of metal. And last fair deal gone down, so depressing, so bleak, so damn good. Lord Belial, you're going to go to the black metal tier, come on, A+, plus. we're all good here. Um, Probably about the, yeah, probably about the, yeah, Lord Belial's so fun. Into the Moonlight Gate, bloody classic, Unholy Crusade, too many good albums, even the newest one, very good. Marduk, there's an S tier band if I ever saw one, love the newest Marduk album, Memento Mori, is just such a bloody banger, and Panzer Division, amazing. Then you got the more melodic stuff, those are the unlight, and like, hey, come on, beautiful. Miss Sugar. Miss Sugar Sugar. Miss Sugar Sugar. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'll put it in A. I enjoy it more than these bands. Definitely. Definitely enjoy it more than these bands. Um, it has a time and a place. The place is the gym. The time is every time you're at the gym. Because those, like, genty riffs are just so good for, like, lifting weights. Like, it's just like, it's, it's good. It's good shit. Um, Chaos Sphere. Bloody banger. Morbid. I don't like him as much as some of the other ones up here. But I'd still say it's A. Not as good as these. It's a classic band. Dead. But is as yeah, do I like it as much as Dark Funeral? Yeah, probably not. Probably not. Why is Dark Funeral down here? Not up there. Fuck it. Dark Funeral's jumping up. Yeah, we got black metal tier right here. Dark Funeral's and then in flames randomly. Speaking of black metal, Nagelfar. A plus. Love them. Like Sarah Cloth, such a good album. Vitra. Yeah. I like them a lot. Uh, necrophobic. I'm going to put them in the top of A. I like melodic. I like um, Black and Death, but just not as much as melodic Death. Um, I can't speak. Not as much as melodic Black or symphonic Black or just atmospheric Black. Um, black and Death is one of my less favourite Black genres, but it's still good. 
Opeth, you know, come on, it's me. It's one of my favourite bands of all time. Fucking, if it wasn't S, what's going to happen? Like, the channel will explode. Pain of Salvation. Ugh, people attack me for this. I still don't like them. I'm still not a big fan. Sorry. Just coming to the vocals. And the, just the style of it, I don't, don't know. Don't like. Sabaton, you're also in D. Um, are you actually... Can I really put Sabaton, Avatar, and Amaranth higher than Sabaton? Can I? Hmm. Don't know about that. Maybe I'll put them there. No. They deserve D. Yeah, they deserve D. Yeah, fuck it. D. I, en I used to enjoy them a lot. Uh, some albums are still good heroes. Uh, last Stand, I like the like the different songs relating to the different Last Stands in history. It's fun. But a lot of it's just kind of mediocre. Um, yeah. You know, I'm putting Amaranth down there. And we'll bump... We'll bump... One of these down as well. I think... In, oh, it's Entombed. Yeah. Eh. Uh, a monomorph as well. Yeah, fuck it. There you go. There you go. Moving it round. Next up, Sacramentum. Just kind of like necrophobic. Um, I don't know which one I like more. I think I like Sacramentum a little bit more, actually. So you're going to the top of A. Similar kind of sound. A bit less aggressive, but still in that same vein. Sacrilege. I know it's a classic. I don't know them that much. Shut up. Scar Symmetry. Never been a big fan of Scar Symmetry. It's not really a band that's like popped out for me. D. I don't want to give it a D, but it's going in D. Shining. You're going in A, plus, my boy. Depressive, suicidal black metal. Fun. So many good albums. Speaking of that, Silencer is going to go in A. Shining's better. Silencer's fun. I mean, the vocals are just absolutely ridiculous, but come on. Compared to, like, actual bands like these, it's not going to win. Soil Work. You're going to be rest of these bands. Um, I'll probably put you... I like Hammer 4 more. Power Metal's better. It's fun. It's in the same kind of vein as At The Gates for me. Um, just kind of fun melodic death. Just nothing moody or special. Because, come on, I like my Dark Tranquillities... Um, Ignore and Flames, I like <laughs> Dark Tranquilities and like later at the gates. Moody stuff, Candle Mass, you know, Catatonia. The Halo effect is pretty good as well, and I'd probably put them here, would I? Yeah, no, I like the Halo effect. I think the Halo effect's pretty damn good. It feels weird having Entombed down here. It does. It actually does feel weird having Entombed down there. So I'm going to put Halo Effect down there. Entombed, Entombed is going to go up. Yeah, it just feels weird. The Haunted is another one. Um, fun, kind of, mellow, mellow death. Just, I haven't binged them as much as some others, so I could put it in there, but I do know enough of their albums to warrant a placement here next to Halo Effect and Modern Morph. Bands of that nature. Unanimated. Fun. Black Metal. Very, very evil and good. Unleashed. Where's Unleashed gonna go? I think I would put it in A. Yeah. Classic. Classic band. Uh, go around the same. <laughs> look at all these logos that look act fucking identical. Let's put all these together. They all look the fucking same. Great band. Vinterland. I'm pretty sure that's Vinterland. Because that's gonna go into S. I think Vinterland is. Bloody... F no, it's not. It's going to go into A+, plus alongside Dawn. Vindland and Dawn. Similar kind of bands for me. Love them. Love the atmospheric nature of them. Very good. And Wattain is the last one on the list, which is, of course, going to go to A+. Plus. That's correct. A+. Plus. Some people say that they're just mediocre. Some people say they're just... Cashing in, blah, 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 fuck you. After the first two albums, which are kind of just straightforward black, which is fine, the rest of the albums, goddamn kill. The Wild Hunt's very interesting. 
um, slower approach, but the rest, oh, the the um, the ecstasy and something of Watain, the latest album, so good. They're going sore on that on that tour. Fucking amazing. Um, heard them play the Waters of Ain live, and that's such a bloody banger. So, I f- is anything going to jump up to S tier? Is anything going to jump up? You know, I'm thinking dissection. Dissection. Yeah. Dissection is going to jump up. There you go. There is my tier list. S tier, Opeth, Bathory, Candlemas, Catatonia, Marduk, Dissection, and Ghost. Woo! A plus, Dawn, Vinterland, Shining, Lord Belial, Dark Funeral, Nagelfar, Watain, Diabolical, Masquerade, and In Flames. There's always a weird outlier, isn't there? A Silencer, Sacramentum, Necrophobic, Unleashed, and Animated, Edge of Sanity, Dark Tranquility, Dismembered, Grave, Morbid, Bloodbath, Mashuka. <laughs> There's the outlier in that one. And then the rest. D tiers, um, just some bands that I are fine. They're okay. Same as C. C and D can really be the same fucking category, to be honest. But, oh well, enough rambling. That is my tier list. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Pop your own down below. Scream about it. Scream, shout, let it all out. Let me know, and we'll see you again on another Quest for Metal.